Hello, dear friends. We are back again. And yes, after the break, we are here with you. And of course, our special celebrity and guest, she is Dr. G.S. Vijay Lakshmi, a person focused on reality, on truth, on hard work, and of course, focusing on all the scientific aspects of life. A great researcher. She's here with us, ready to share her time and expertise. And we really have to thank her because she is that person who wants to give out knowledge to everyone and wants you also to be focused on whatever work you choose in your life. Dear ma'am, uh, we'd like you to share your thoughts and views with regard to how a teacher should be a good role model for students. How could that be possible? Uh, with your thoughts and views, uh, you could make this a beautiful session. Yes, yes. Uh, that is, uh, I used to tell in the class itself, don't, my dear girls, students, don't search for role models from America or Africa or uh, even in your own class, in your own college, there are people whom you can take it up as your own role model. So just observe each, not only myself, just observe all the teachers coming and going and just like a sponge, you know, take the good from every teacher and then when you evolve yourself into a better form than any of us, that is my mantra. That is take good things from each and every one and then re reform and um, you raise above all of us by just absorbing like a sponge the goodness from everybody. That is the secret of uh, rising up in life. That is one thing. Number two, when the teacher enters the classroom, the student's eyes are focused on the teacher only. What does she, whether she is teaching, people are, students are better judges. I will say I am the best teacher. No, I cannot judge myself. But the students are the better judge than anybody else regarding teaching teaching is concerned. So when the teacher enters with the, with the aspirations, hopes, and she should not, she should be very razor smart. The teacher should be razor smart and see that all the students follow suit. Her way of dealing and so on. One hour, I think each one will have to be in the class one hour and during that one hour, focus your best personality. You focus yourself the best of everything in you. During that one hour, you focus the best of everything that is found in you and uh, see that the students, uh, that is what you call, involuntarily follow your style. They involuntarily follow you. To that extent, you have to behave in the classroom. And also, when you come out also, you please see that you watch the student's behavior. Don't think your work is over once that one hour teaching is over. Even after coming out, you watch their behavior. What do they, in those days, even the comment, you no, know, they do comment. That is welcome. We also, we also should improve taking their, uh, as I found one of the uh, questions, no constructive criticism. Even if they come and constructively, if it is going to improve the style of a teacher in molding the students, no harm in taking that comment in a in a positive way. That is constructive. Even when you present a paper, when a teacher is presenting a research paper, no, some people will ask relevant questions. Some people will criticize. In a, with a bad motive and but can, if it is really constructive criticism, take it in the right sense and improve upon your uh, your presentation. And next time, no, when you do it, you do it in a better way. That should be the attitude. So criticism should be there, but not like our uh, opposite party uh, shouting in the assembly. Not like that, but the constructive criticism. The criticism should improve us, should improve us. And it is all in the hands of the speakers, no, the teachers, in the hands of the teacher. How you take others' views? You have to really view it positively and try to clarify if you can, or 
if you really go if you if you had go if you went wrong don't hesitate to accept you are uh, that is sometimes no ayanaikum uh, even elephants adisarukum yanaikum adisar so like that uh, you take the criticism in the right pathway and other things no you shouldn't force anything on the students don't force anything your views don't force your views on the students you make them follow good things by your example by your example see take myself for example and uh, only in those days no i had only 20 students in one class in undergraduates and pg some 15 students we had so don't simply spoon feed them make them learn by themselves that is the work nowadays i used to tell no there is no need for teacher at all a computer can teach better than a teacher but teacher is needed what for to guide them properly to put them in the proper channel to guide their uh, this energy no to guide them or uh, actually to gather their energy properly and then put them in the right path otherwise there is a saying also a good teacher informs a good teacher merely informs the facts and figure that is found in the book that they can do where is the need for a teacher the better teacher teaches a better teacher teaches a good teacher informs a better teacher teaches let me explain what is given in the book further and the best teacher is one who inspires by her own behavior who inspires the students see if you just take one book then people will read only one book if you just take to the class some five or six books the students will wonder what, what are why this madam is bringing five or six books then she will think oh we have to refer some books and all. so by and another thing you shouldn't go to the class late at all and we cannot ask if anyone comes late why are you late because we are late isn't it i remember one important quotation even now i remember one important quotation or saying whatever you may call found you found for a long time till his death in the table of jawaharlal nehru i have seen i have seen jawaharlal nehru in my lifetime and i have seen this uh, saying you no know, when i was taken to the uh, that uh, to meet uh, jawaharlal nehru you know what was kept in the in on the on his table is uh, i am not interested in the reasons for i am not interested in excuses for delay suppose if anybody comes late the bus is late people used to say bus late train late why you are not early why you are blaming bus or train you should have come earlier isn't it so i am not interested in excuses for delay but i am interested in the work done evlo periya vishayam i am interested in the work done instead don't give lame excuses that is the saying was which was kept in jawaharlal nehru's table i have seen with my own eyes once only once and then and when i had some chance so then he was the one who inspired also and afterwards mrs indira gandhi uh, i remember her as you said rapid fire no like rapid fire she went to um, a foreign country where she was surrounded by press people she press people there no i think america i don't remember what country she went so many country she went but in one country she was surrounded by press persons in their attire in their attire that is um that is um, um what do you call this uh, not sari other than sari something else they women and men also they in their own style but she was the only one wearing sari indira gandhi nowadays no people imitate no at least when they go abroad they want to be like them 
be a roman when you are in rome it is said but she appeared in her own sari when she was asked no how do you like to be madam how do you like to be one question by press people ask her how do you like to be you know the answer i would like to be myself i would like to be myself abdin immediately like rapid fire she gave back why i am saying one should uh, that is we should be ourselves in other words believe yourself and believe yours whatever you do you do according to your code or what a code of conduct or whatever it is provided it is not harmful or it is not it, it does it provided it doesn't affect anybody whatever you follow should not affect anybody so till then you may follow anything you like and somehow and after i came out no one of my field assistant only she is a field assistant who followed me like a shadow wherever i go she will extend her help and all i then now she is superintendent of uh, superintendent of is in a section of university where i studied and i don't know because she was with me throughout instead of myself right usually people used to write a biography or autobiography or i don't have i am don't believe in writing my autobiography this and but what she did in tamil she wrote um, this sutru uh, sural sudar oli means uh, environmental beacon in english we call environmental beacon which i got from environment department she brought out a small book and it was released by the vice chancellor about 1000 bo- 1000 uh, copies no where she mentioned what all whatever question you ask no it the answer is in this book this is the book she had wrote uh, she wrote in tamil in tamil of course and why i am saying is she followed uh, closely and then uh, now you won't believe she joined as raw bsc only as field assistant when she when i came out she become be, became msc environmental science msc she passed out msc now she has become superintendent of a section in manohar mariam university so i have my if at all i consider uh, what i achieved is i lifted so many persons in education as well as in life also so that is the that is my achievement i can say that is more than my achievement i was able to bring so many people around me uh, i was able to raise them up and uh, make a living for themselves yes you are an angel on earth because an oh, no. angel with invisible wings that's really nice uh, you've been sharing your thoughts and views and how people have given back to you also that book which you shared just now is such a beautiful tribute to all yes. that you've been share you yes. know doing all these years wonderful dear ma'am we'd like you to speak now on motivation how does one get motivated or how one should motivate either students or how the motivation process should take place amongst all of us um that is a that is a it's a little difficult only motivation people nowadays people there are so many uh, youngsters not even middle age people calling themselves as motivators and they collect money also i have i know so many persons no of course they give good lectures with all articulations and so on there are four or five motivators in my own place itself but what i want to stress here is uh, we need not be a professional uh, motivator but the practical motivate there's a lot of difference between professional and practical motivator especially this is pos- this can be possible only by teachers only by t- for example the a teacher will not go to library or tall even for few minutes a teacher and one thing second when they are in the staff room no 
when they talk among themselves so many people are hearing isn't it when they talk among themselves also nowadays what they talk is about material things material thing, whether you have purchased the house whether like that so many the only rarely people talk about constructive thing so when the when the girls are exposed to such a situation how we can think that they will get motivated no definitely not so for that how, how we should do motivation apart from the in addition to the textbook textbook gather them for last one hour not the regular hour last one hour gather our own students assemble them and teach them about first and foremost about our great bygone leaders leaders who made a mark how many of us know exactly about how we got the freedom first freedom fighters people nowadays they don't know they are not aware of how we got the freedom jolly and you they may not know what is the importance about jolly and jolly and wala bag jolly and wala wear mass massacre was then even now a lamp is kept lit people can see new delhi parliament so what is i'll tell you it is not enough if you know the textbook alone so let them be introduced to our democratic system parliamentary system more than that our, about our great leaders you just tell about how what is a unique feature of indira gandhi boldness as a woman she was really bold enough to trash whatever it is that comes on her way if it is not going to do good for the country that that much of boldness when we can get when you feel that see a woman should be real nimirnda nannade nerkonda paarve eppo varum now when you think that whatever you are doing is for the benefit of india for the benefit of society what you do is not to uplift yourself alone but so many persons around then you will be bold because you know what you are doing is correct and secondly your motivation starts with the telling about the biographies of the great great leaders inspirational leaders starting from mahatma gandhi you know how he was such a simple person even though highly educated and how he behaved how if after coming to madurai he shunned all this coat and all and wore only a small dhoti how why she should he should wear because he wanted to be one among the one among the comrades one among the colleagues that's why it's how the dress and then had only one dhoti madurai vandadukku appuram so and all the leaders who made a mark by the even india is really fortunate to have many 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 outstanding leaders then come to our culture indian culture what is our people may not know what is our indian culture don't deviate from our inborn culture mainly panbad india panbad this this dance bharatanatyam music all the folk what all that all just uh, how it will motivate the children is just uh, it will make them take up so, so many uh, courses are there it will really motivate them not only to imagine for a doctor or engineer so many students no may enter even politics it is good that for we the women enter politics and do constructive things not the other thing and some um, students may uh, take up music some i would like to say here a yeah, yeah, small a yeah, not small yeah, that is son of an auto driver son of an auto driver made a mark in bharatanatyam in tenkasi and uh, did his phd in bharatanatyam he is a role model for so many youngsters they want to take up bharatanatyam and so on. likewise we should motivate them to develop into a multi splendid personality not simply one sided personality a student 
should grow into a multi splendid personal that is the hope i have exceeded it excellent ma'am you shared that so nicely how a student should develop him or herself that's really nice and how a teacher should behave and be a great role model for their students irrespective of the gender you really have to be very careful as to what you speak in front yes. of your colleagues and front of your students as well sure yes dear dear ma'am yeah, tripural there is a thing ya kaava raino na kaake eda kaapathadiya tongue you have to protect your tongue yes dear very true very true ma'am take care of your tongue and everything is fine if at all you know we slip of the tongue they say should be very careful yes ma'am and especially if you are an academician you should be extra careful as to what you speak sure. because if you are a role model people students will be observing you yes sure we forget very often that so many eyes are on us yes dear dear ma'am we'd like you now to share your thoughts with regard to mental health oh, mental health mental what is mental health first let me define what is mental health is there any uh, that is should is there any necessity to go to a psychiatrist no not like that so one or two person get, go mad also in the, because of unwanted thoughts and so mental how we can nurture a good mind as i told already a sound mind in a sound body first nurture your body then your and uh, there is an, there was one question which was very interesting suppose if there is a stress how would you face the stress taking myself for example i would go and stand in front of a tree and forget my or a beautiful stream or lake or whatever whichever is found in our place uh then i'll forget everything and then stare at nature that is a book i read recently living in tune with the nature that is uh, living in tune how to live in tune with the nature forgetting not simply go and stand you may not be attracted by anything in nature forget yourself completely and go and stand in in front of the um, in front of uh, this thing uh, river so immediately what will occur to our mind in front of a fruit tree what will occur to the mind of a student or a teacher or what during at this time of stress we will forget everything and uh, one thing will uh, one thing that occur to me the river was created to help others to fertilize the fields paddy fields or irrigation and so on and a tree was created to yield leaves you to yield uh, fruits vegetables and uh, the herb was created to yield vegetables and a herb was created to yield what is called medicinal uh, herbs and so on so many so can you just imagine none of this is created to satisfy themselves excepting why man is created only to help others like the tree like the stream like uh, uh, waterfalls waterfalls refreshes re- invigorates our mind waterfalls invigorates our mind so that mental health you know there is no remedy that is there is no permanent solution also to improve our mental health is lies only in our hands mental health alone lies not in doctor's hand but only in, but physical health only lies in the hands of the doctor but if all the physical uh, faculties are working but mental is not i don't have a good mind something is disturbing me immediately stop your routine work and then think what what will satisfy you for for take for me myself no i'll just go through some interesting nature uh children's book even i will go through so it will it will really relax read something which will make your mind relax not loaded with unwanted facts read something which will or even go through some interesting uh, painting or whatever it is or even take a painting it will relax your mind so mental health is unless the mental health is kept 
good or kept properly you cannot you can never hope to have any constructive activity that means mental health means you should be calm a calm and your mind should be like a cement the wet cement in the wet cement what happens whatever is drawn in the wet cement you know and the floor it will be there like that you transform your mind in, into a wet cement and then uh, you just to put your facts in the mind it will stay forever forever so that focused thing whatever you do no you let it be a focused thing thinking something else you do one thing definitely you cannot get better results sometimes i also have scattered mind but i try to come back by by taking up the routine thing so gardening will make you make you gardening you no know, is a beautiful hobby if you do properly gardening will especially at the old age gardening will make you perfect really you will be seeing the plants growing from young uh, sapling to tree and you, you also your my mental health also will grow on seeing the plants and so on so likewise only we have to improve our mental health and finally of course reading makes a full man reading makes a full man said francis bacon yes dear excellent ma'am thank you ma'am for sharing all of your expertise today with us you are a mine of information with such a lot of knowledge that's really great uh, ma'am with your permission may we now go on to this beautiful round called as the rapid fire round which will take another 10 minutes oh yes yes sure sure thank you ma'am my dear friends it's now time for the rapid fire round let's get to know about the likes and dislikes of our scientist dr g s vijay lakshmi as Thanks. to what is her personal likes and dislikes join me friends you have a lovely time with this session now join me uh, dear ma'am we'd like to know your favorite color color my favorite color is green you know why my naturally as an environmentalist and um, I, uh, my colleagues you no know, used to call me as pasumai thai in tamil green mother green mother you no know, why i like not because i'm environmentalist and uh, green means every color has got a meaning as you know purity of thought white and so on so green means giving green means giving to others so not to, and also as an environmentalist i like green color and uh, everywhere i want to be even the my home painting also is green everything i uh, make it green green is my favorite color yes dear dear ma'am are you green. a person yes ma'am thank you dear thanks dear ma'am are you a person who forgives others easily do you believe in forgiveness pardon I, i'm not able to yeah do you believe in forgiveness manipur ah forgiveness forgiveness see that's true um, sometimes you no know, if it is really i forgive provided one thing they have done it without any intention without intention or unknowingly one does some mistake definitely we have to forgive or wantonly one, one does anything that really pains me then also i i just forget about forgiving forget about themselves and remove them all uh, totally but when it is tolerable when i can feel that they can be corrected if i tell something they will take it in the right sense in that case we can forgive because many often people do without knowing what they are doing many often people really do things without knowing what they are doing how it will affect the other person and so on so in that case no harm in forgiving after putting everything in black and white and after making them realize what they have done is wrong really they have to feel and tell yes madam 
i what i did is wrong we have to explain them in such a way that uh, so we can forgive but if it is beyond redemption we cannot do anything and forget them kitta dain vettana mara that's all excellent yeah. thank you ma'am ungaloda favorite breakfast ma'am breakfast 365 days i like idli steamed idli and uh, our traditional i have not even tasted once in my life this porota salna porot i have not tasted even one that is true i am not telling lie it is i have not tasted this porota and salna what i like most is idli dosa our own food idiyappam Uh, but most favorite is idli i am not uh, bored of idli even when i go to restaurants i order idli nothing can harm idli yes dear is it idli sambar idli pudi or what is it idli sambar idli sambar idli pudi okay okay dear ma'am among all the 12 months which is the favorite one among all the 12 months no a uh, favorite one is mar- this tamil month margari mar chitra margari mass why because that morning no uh, we put a beautiful kolam mandal in front of every house and also every day we hear about uh, the offerings the tirupavai tiruvambavai and all and all because that tiruvalli puttur is very near to our place sri vili putur where andal temple is found no even our symbol uh, government symbol is the temple sri vili putur temple only so i like margari every morning no we get up early and hear the bhajan bhajan songs in english which month is it ma'am in english month i like uh, all the months why special what special i mean, I mean to say no year yeah, january i like january you were just sharing the margadi this month so in in the english calendar which month is it margadi yeah yes is it something like in march april or something no not margadi this is december december kartika masam they say kartika yes kartika next is margadi i think december that season will be very chill chill weather it is a much and maybe i guess right yes dear ma'am your favorite music music i my favorite i know to play veena amateur amateur and uh, i like love music and uh, my favorite carnatic music i love and my favorite raga is sahana and revathi that's a very beautiful raga sahana and revathi would you oblige to sing that for us like would you like to sing this song <laughs> i can only no. one or two lines of any song like any bhakti song or maybe any beautiful song yaar taru tamil there is one song that is even darbar darbar yaar taru var in the simhasanam like yes. this yaar taru var in the that is in the raga darbar darbar no and when the when the deities temple deities come no they they actually play in the nadeshwara malagari malagari yeah. yes and morning uh, the, you know i was doing some research on environment and raga for example malaya marudam there is one raga called malaya marudam me maruda means kaathu malaya maruda malayilend from the mountain no beautiful breeze comes no like that the malaya maruda raga avaya mar bhubalam bhubalam mani afternoon sri rakam uh, music really i love to hear any number of times not bored to hear new i know to appreciate music i am not a singer but i can identify most of the main ragas see nilambari is uh, nilambari is uh, actually 
uh, it helps the child to uh, it helps the mothers to put their child to sleep nilambari yes. thank you ma'am for sharing all of that that's really very nice ma'am among the seven days of the week which is the most favorite day seven days of the week monday is the most favorite why because saturday sunday saturday sunday no we relax so when the when monday comes no it, we become active i like monday all the working days not the holidays because some hurdles will be there on sunday and we can't do whatever we want to do so saturday sunday will pass on <coughs> from monday it starts routine life that's wonderful and in fact all academicians across this platform when they have shared about which is their favorite day of the week all academicians maximum of them have said that monday is the best day and this for students is just the opposite it's not monday it may be sunday. Sunday. yes yeah, it's yeah. saturday or sunday something sure, like that. sure sure yes for students they love they were they used to count the days for the arrival of sunday yes. saturday sunday yes dear ma'am dear ma'am your favorite number my favorite number 8 you know why 8 uh, is infinite there is no beginning there is no end no beginning no end goes on like this. so eight infinite excellent that's really nice and thank you for explaining that too dear ma'am did you spend money on a certain object maybe because you're very money conscious and you know you want you believe in sustainability and reuse of products you don't want to waste anything you want to reuse and try to get the best of it and but did you ever spend money on any item and regret it, regretted it or why did i buy this any incident that occurred like uh, that is mostly out of necessity and all when i put my money in jewels i just uh, regretted several times instead i used to spend money i and get books i never regret i used to feel no uh, one thing why these people used to tell i used to compare very interestingly the hike in the price of gold why there is hike in the price of the gold people are buying so when you, when we all make strike or are not strike when we never think of by it's, it's not it may appear to be impractical but still i think when we refuse to buy this uh, gold how uh, what will happen i used to think not only yeah, i will compare this with another thing also people are talking about plastic 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 just like gold avoid plastic avoid plastic and several persons have asked me as an environmentalist madam why why are you often conducting awareness program on plastic why don't you try and influence the government to put a moratorium on plastic production itself abdin so what what i am telling like gold only this plastic when we the shoppers they don't get plastic when the common people do not go after plastic how come they will go on producing so we need not stop them producing but you stop the people from buying which is easier it is left to us See, that is the thing yes dear ma'am thank you so much for sharing that's really nice ma'am ungalku nalla samayal varuma ma'am yeah i i have samayal varum solradha vida i have uh, interest in cooking scientific cooking yes people will think that i don't know i have good uh, assistants also but i myself have interest in cooking because Your favorite recipe i cooked and did my research i never depended upon the hotel food and all i myself and my roommate both of us used to cook and i remember yeah that's really nice ma'am your favorite recipe um my favorite uh, recipe is you know 
this um, sweet mysore pak mysore pak that perfectly i will do it and also this puranam kolkata and uh, dosha no dosha modakatan dosha that will be interesting modakatan you know that modakatan means that green uh, that's very very beautiful leaves to look at that in a um, botanical name is cardiospermum helica cab cardiospermum helica cab because helically it, it is a creeper so what we we pluck all the leaves alone and put it along with the rice and little ulund dals ulund dal and then grind like a idli flour after it will be a enva i used to call this as environmental dosha because it will be green in color it will be green in color it why it is called modakatan means it is very good for bones suppose people will have badam so modak modak modangi pochina modak arthan so it is called modakatan and uh, modakatan dosa this mysore pak is my favorite I'll, i'll do it perfectly well no time it went wrong so carefully we have to put our heart and soul and then do it and uh, one thing no cooking one should know to eat then only they know cooking when we don't know to eat no whatever available people will eat when we have interest in eating we will have interest in cooking also very true ma'am this is a, a fact which you've shared very true that's really nice ma'am is it tea or coffee coffee i i prefer coffee but nowadays health point of view people say tea is better that too black tea yes tea very true dear ma'am the next question which is the insect that you don't like i mean you're already a zoologist you're an environmentalist now i'd beetle. like to ask yeah, insect or beetle beetle i don't like don't like Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, you like socializing or me time? Socializing, socially. Yes, dear. Is it the beach or forest? Forest. Yeah, I get, I get that. Yes, I understand. Yes, forest. Dear ma'am. Yes, please. Right. Beach. Uh, there is no variety. just water sand and rock or whatever it is forest you get my bio, biodiversity a spectrum of colors yes dear dear ma'am how would you describe a beautiful day or a complete day happy day in just one word or nalla naal ore oru vaarthai nalla naal is when my body and mind are in good condition throughout Yes, dear. That's perfect, ma'am. You like to stay in a city, a village, or a town? Modest village, modest. Yes, dear. You like ice creams too? Yes, certainly, certainly. Which flavor? Vanilla, vanilla. Yes, dear. That alone, I take no trying anything else. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, we'll come down to the next question. Are you a thinker or a doer? Where do you excel? Both think doer, doer. Little yes. what what I think, no. I'll try to translate into action. Doer only. I don't think more than doing, or I don't think beyond my capacity to do a thing. Yes, yes, dear, dear ma'am, you believe in experiential learning or theoretical learning? Because by asking you this question, you have several books with you, and at the same time, you have a vast experience, rich experience. So, if I would ask you this question, what would be your answer? Experiential learning, experiential learning. Well, theoretical learning helps me to actually to differentiate between right and wrong, but i like experiential learning only will make you perfect yes dear dear ma'am you've received so many awards 
I mean, I could just read a few and share with our, celeb our audience. I could just share a few with our guests and audience. You've received so many, like 30 plus awards and maybe even more. We never know that. Because, and I like you just shared a few with us, like among, among all the awards and rewards that you've got, the gifts, the presentations that you've got amongst all of it from different people, either officially or unofficially, mm -hmm. the best gift that you've ever received till date. Best gift I received is from my own alma mater from Annamalai University. A citation, a citation they gave along with the shield uh, that I value most, which I received about two years back after so many years. They called I was the I am the only living person from that other some seniors and all passed away. So I was called. So I, it was a thrilling experience. And uh, among award, no, uh, the one I value most is by the Department of Science and Technology for popularizing science in the nook and corner of Kutralam. They gave popularization of science award. That I value. Excellent. That's really nice. Ma'am, I just want to know one major question. How far is Kutralam from Chennai? How long how? it takes to travel? If at all we come to Chennai from there, how do we reach Kutralam? That it takes one night. Suppose you get into the train now, uh, nine o'clock. Early morning you are right. Seven. Seven. Exactly how many kilometers I'm not I, I will find out because not not exactly I am able to tell. The, suppose you get into the train and you arrive here the next day morning. So please do come and enjoy our place. Yes, sure. It's a wonderful re resort. Wonderful resort. Yes, dear. Is it somewhere close to Nagapattinam? No, no, no. Nagapattinam is far away. Nagapattinam is nearer to Tanjavur. Tanjur. Is It is other corner. This is here. Yeah, that's really nice because for the first time I've heard this uh, place called as Kutralam with so many things. You've mentioned the different fruits available there and all of yeah, that. Really different nice. fruits which are not found anywhere, which are found but which are not grown anywhere. Here only it is grown. Yes, dear. Uh, Ma'am, before we end the session, I'd like to ask you to give us three gifts in the form of three beautiful words to empower each one of us who are present with us, our guests and as well as our audience. Uh, apart from please, sorry, and thank you, we'd like you to share three powerful words to empower us. Uh, that is, always try to find out good, good things in others. Number two, always be positive in whatever you do or whatever you achieve, or even if you don't achieve, be positive. Always find good, good things in others. And third, try to be a pleasant personality, always. Yes, dear. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your time. You've been very patient and kind and very, very humble. You know, we find people... I have seen people personally, I've met them, I've spoken to them either online or offline. They have achieved nothing and they are very ego, having a lot of ego. Ego, yeah, Egoists. yeah. Egoists. So I, I really feel that people like you should be more on this universe to spread love and to be humble and down to earth. As you earlier mentioned, you're a scientist, a down to earth scientist, a very down sweet earth. and humble Exactly, person. exactly. Yes, dear. I, 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 I told you already, Miles and miles to go before I sleep. Miles and miles to go before I sleep. Very true. Very true. My this thing is still far away. How long? When I am planning to, I'm not planning to retire from my life till my last breath. That is my permanent retirement. Yes, dear ma'am. That's really beautiful, ma'am. 
we look forward uh, to having you on many more sessions because I feel you're a mine of information. You're a hidden gem and you have such a lot to share with the society and with the world. So we'd like to request you to join us once again on the International Fab Talks in the near future as well to share much more. And especially with Wormy Composite, everything, I'd like you to give us a clear picture, only one session based on that, so that people yeah. out there could really dive into it and make use of this beautiful sharing from your side. Thank you, Manisha. Thank you so much. I also enjoyed first time uh, being interviewed like this. So every day we learn something. That is the, yes. every day, every day. Yes, we are exposed. Very true. Ma We'd love to learn more from you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time and patience. Uh, you, and looking forward to many more interactions. Rambo Nandri, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. You have really spared your time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless. Thanks. Thank I'd you. like to take this opportunity and even thank Chidambaram sir uh, for sharing the contact details of Dr. G.S. Vijay Lakshmi. Uh, thank you Chidambaram sir. God bless you and ma'am God bless you too and God bless the world. Let's spread peace, joy and happiness and be great role models as an academician for all our students. Yes, sure. sure. My thanks to Chidambaram also. Yes, dear. And thanks to all our special guests who are here with us. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey. Thank you. Yes. Yes. My yes. dear yes. friends. Yes. Goes on. Journey goes on. Yes. yes. The journey goes on. Beautiful. My dear friends, here's the beautiful message. The journey goes on. It never stops. As yes. I mentioned, eight is infinity. So the journey yes. goes on and there's no end to it. You have to continue this beautiful journey and spread the light of peace, joy, and happiness. And of course, if you like this beautiful video, and if you like the sharings of our special celebrity and guest, do us a favor, share this video far and wide, such that people could benefit from this beautiful session. And if you like what we are doing, be connected with us, subscribe, share, and of course, comment on this beautiful video. Stay connected. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, ma'am.